Hi everyone, I have this next LED emergency light and I've been really happy with it. If you don't know what the emergency light is, you can check my full review. But basically when the power is lost, these two lamps come on and illuminate the area. The only thing is, I don't always need two of these. Sometimes I just want to turn one on, especially if I know or think it's going to be a long brownout. I just want to run one so that I still have enough light, but my battery is going to last much longer. So today I'm going to try and modify this by adding a switch. Very simple, very cheap switch. I think this was around 5 peso or something like that. So I'm going to modify it so that one of these can be turned on and off, and one of them is always on. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is open it up so we get access to the inside. Let's remove the back cover. Now I have to decide which one is going to be the one that can be switched on and off. Now looking at this, most likely it's going to be this one because this has the longest wires which makes it easy to bring one of the wires down here to a switch which can be switched on and off you know, breaking the wire, joining the wire, breaking it, joining it with the switch so I think I'll use this one so to make the hole in here for the switch, I thought about drilling it, but I'm not sure if this plastic would survive. It seems like the kind of plastic that might crack. So instead I'm going to use this old soldering iron from CDR King. It was very cheap and I only really use it for melting through plastic. So this should let me create the hole I need to put my switch through. Oh, I have to be careful that I don't make a hole that's too big. Of course you don't want to breathe in the fumes from this thing. That's pretty much the right length just needs to be a bit wider now okay so now the button's pretty close i think i'm going to put the soldering iron away and finish this off with some files so now i just have a flat file i'm going to try and neaten this up a bit so it took a little bit of work but i think i've managed to make the hole big enough and fairly flat when i push in the button so i want to make sure it matches this for the on off although it doesn't really make a big difference let's see if we can get this in here i only got the switch in there we go. So okay, I admit it's not the best finish ever, but I'm going more for a practical approach than design. I still think it's okay. I mean, once you mount this thing, you won't really notice the, the little bit of damage around this area. I think it will look okay. So next thing is the wiring. So all I should have to do is snip one of these wires and put one end going here and then one end going here. Should be that simple. Let's give it a go. So that's my wire and the switch tinned. Let's join them together. So that's one wire done. Give it a little tug, seems to be okay. So now let's tin our other wire. And we'll tin our switch. Now I've just realized that this wire, if I put it there, it's going to make it difficult to replace the battery in the future. Uh, it's not a big deal. I think I'll still be able to bring the battery out this way, so I think it'll be okay. There we go. And that one's also secure. Secure. I'm giving those a pretty hard tug. So let's test it out, see if it works. We'll turn it on. Both of them come on. Switch my switch. Boom. Excellent. And if I do this seems to operate just fine. So that's a super easy modification and it costs barely anything. You just have to buy the switch and that's pretty much it. It's not the prettiest, I admit, but it's also not too bad. I'll put this back together and then we'll give it another demo just because I'm quite happy playing with this. <laughs> And something I've just realized with this light is you can put the cover on like that and it will hang one way, for instance, like this on a wall, or you can put it on this way and then it will hang the other way. So depending on whether you want the controls at the bottom or the top, you have that option. So I didn't even realize that before. That's pretty cool. And there we go. Finished, back together, back to normal. And now I have my option to have both on, or if I don't need so much light and I want the battery to last longer, I can just have one on. Really easy mod and <laughs> really happy with the results. So if you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe for future videos. Thanks for watching.